Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town Good morning, welcome back to a new episode of Solo Male Van Life. I'm gonna be your host once again. My name's Dan. This is my girlfriend's van. Her name's Allie and this van's name is Helen. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and smash that like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because we got a really fun episode for you today. Let me just step into my office, which is also my living room and my bedroom and my kitchen, surprising enough. So what's happening today, if you didn't see the last episode, you can actually check it out right up here. I'll drop a little link in there, but we ran into some problems with the battery. I was able to get it fixed, save the day in a sense. Now, what's happened since then is I've ran into another issue that I'm gonna show you guys very soon, and we're gonna have to tackle that today together as a vlogger and vlog. What we're gonna do now is actually have a little snack. <laughs> I wanna show you guys something really cool I got a few tamales this morning from a local vendor, $1.50 each, 30 pesos each, <clears throat> fantastic deal. And then I went and picked up some of my most favorite thing about being here in Mexico, one of my most favorite things. It's called Mahaca, I believe, and I might be saying that wrong. You guys can um, correct me. I've gotten a few corrections so far in the comment section. I appreciate it. But what we do, and I'm gonna show you guys, is I'm gonna take one of these tamales, I'm gonna spread it out on this plate, and then I'm gonna put some Mahaca on it or matcha, maca, one of the two. I'll have to Google it and I'll throw the word up here. And then I'm gonna eat it. And Once I'm fueled up, I'm gonna show you guys the issue. Hopefully the van starts. Another update on the van situation. It was going well yesterday after fixing it. Today, this morning when I started it up, it had a little bit of a, it, it got close to not turning over. So we're gonna see, I let it run for a little bit this morning when I went to do a, a, an errand. So we'll see how that goes. So let's dive in to a little bit of breakfast together. Me and you vlog. Let's do it. <laughs> and then if I need a little sunshade later, <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a hat. Oh, you're crazy vlog. You're crazy. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. So it's got a little bit of spice to it. It's got like sesame seeds, I believe maybe poppy seeds, I'm not really sure, peanuts, pine nuts, and it's just got this like kind of oily texture as you can see, there's a lot of oil in there, I believe. And it's just, it's such a flavorful addition. So if you're ever in Baja or, or Mexico, I've never been to mainland, but absolutely got to try this. It's a really, really awesome addition to any meal. Now, the situation is yesterday, when I went to go grab some pesos for dinner, I opened up our little area here. I took that off and I go over to our safe, which is situated right here inside the old um, garage of Helen. This safe is about three months old, brand new batteries, brand new everything. I go to put in the code and I haven't done this since yesterday, so maybe something's changed. I'm gonna take you guys along for this ride. Um, I'm hoping when I press this first button here, I hear a sound, but yesterday I didn't hear anything, which means I can't get into the safe. Stupidly, moronically, I put the two keys into the safe that get you into the safe if this happens inside the safe. Why, you ask, vlog? <laughs> well, our passports, all of our pesos, um, you know, just like a lot of our valuables are in here, so some of that stuff I kind of need access to, vlog. I mean, <laughs> Don't beat a guy up over it. Luckily, I'm able to access the ATM here in town. I'm able to use my, my cards as needed. So I'm not totally screwed. That's a saving grace. That's the power of liking and subscribing in action right there. So um, I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel because that energy obviously fed through from your guys' support. So let's press this button. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take you guys along and we'll see what goes, but um, we're gonna have to find a solution if this doesn't work. So here we go, three, two, one. Dag. So as you can see, this piece of just terrible, terrible design, just this absolutely terrible safe somehow doesn't work after three months. So I can't not recommend this enough. So I think I'm gonna have to try and get it out of the garage. We'll see if that goes well, if I can access it from the outside. Um, 
you know, it's not like this isn't like a foolproof thing. It's supposed to be like a small line of defense against whatever, I don't know. But if I can get it out and bring it up and then we can cut a hole in it in a right spot, maybe we can get in there. I mean, we can definitely get in there. I'm not worried about that. It's just, are we gonna destroy the safe? How, you know, how's this all gonna go? So I'm a thorough vlogger. I'm gonna take you guys along for the entirety of this adventure, but we've got to get this done. We've got to do it together. I'm gonna have a positive attitude. I'm going to come at this with the mindset that if I don't fulfill this task, Allie's gonna come home to a van that's not as good as she left it, and I just can't have that. So let's dive right in. Okay, that actually worked out really well, and I just gotta say, guys, I am needing some wins right now. So that's a win for me, chalk that up, because now I can get access to the safe, I can get access to the I can get access to the toolbox and I can continue moving forward, trying to solve problems as they arrive, staying positive. So as you can see, there's four screws there. If I can somehow put some pressure by pulling them so I can unscrew the thread, I can possibly, I think I have a good chance of being able to get those off, which allow me to push the, the bolts into the safe and then lift the safe out of the bin, in which case I can take it to the mechanic and, um, I don't know, show them, show them what I need and see what we can do there. So let's make it happen. I'm gonna pull the toolbox out right now and we're gonna get this done. Now, unfortunately, since Allie built the entire van, did all the work, uh, made it look really nice, made it livable, allowed me to move in, I hadn't done anything. I'm gonna have to take these tools and I, I you know, I'm just kind of shooting in the dark here because um, I really have no clue. So hopefully I can manage to get this done. Let's dive right in. Okay, I just had to MacGyver the safe a little bit. Now I can pull this safe out. This is just a really big pain in the butt. I can't believe it doesn't work. Oh, oh my gosh, starting to get sweaty, starting to feel the effects of heat in this Mexico sun. I will say it's very hot. Um, I know a lot of people are in the north and they're enjoying seeing some sunshine on the videos. You know, it's it's hot down here, that's all I gotta say, and with the no breeze effect right now, it becomes a tester on the, on the psyche. As per usual, I'm gonna stay with a positive attitude. I'm a positive vlogger. I'm gonna bring you guys the truth. I'm gonna bring you guys the nitty and gritty of solo male van life. Um, it, it hasn't been going well so far, but let's keep the momentum going forward. We, we just had a huge win together vlog. Way to go, let's high five. I haven't had this many wins in my life um, since a year ago when I met Allie. <laughs> Cheesy! Okay gang, pulling up here into the mechanic for the second time this week. Not something I'm really super excited about, but they do great work here and they're, um, they've got the tools I need. so. Need to make sure I have my cell phone available so I can speak to these gentlemen clearly and let them know what the situation is. Um, most likely gonna take an L here though in terms of trying to accurately tell them what's going on, but let's see how this goes. Hola. I have a safe in my van and it stopped working. I'm wondering if you guys can cut a hole in it. <laughs> Stay. A key? Uh huh. Doesn't work. Ah, uh, quieres abrir? Si, Open. no. Open. No. Quieres abrirla? I can get it out. Si? Si, si. Okay. Okay, as I suspected, these gentlemen are absolute legends. Got the safe in my hands, pulling it out. We're gonna go bring it over to them. The only person that managed to sustain an injury during that ordeal was me at the mechanic shop. Um, little cut, bloody band-aid, no big deal. I think I just got a W out of that situation for 
I got the keys out of the safe, which I should have never had in the safe in case this happens, but he cut a hole in the safe for me and then he welded it back shut. So we're gonna still be able to use this safe for $10. I think you couldn't find a better fix for that. So really, really happy with the craftsmanship. Might have to go celebrate and take the vlog along. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take you guys to this new little stand here. It says Coco Frescos, I believe. I've never actually been here. I'm gonna see what they have and see if they'll serve a vlogger. Que es Cocos Locos? Cocos Locos. Este oh, perfecto. Coco. Sí, sí. Oh, yeah. okay. Gracias. Hello. <laughs> okay, gang, just left Cocos Frios with a Cocos Locos, which I'm feeling pretty excited about. My first Coco Loco. This is gonna be perfect due to the temperatures I'm experiencing inside and outside of my body. So I might have to make this a regular routine. I'm also gonna eat the meat inside of this Coco Loco here in a bit. So let's have first taste, first reacts, live here on the vlog, fresh coconut, agua. Oh, it's hitting the spot. Whew. Vlog, I wish you guys could be here for this Coco Loco. Very good, very refreshing, very hitting the spot. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. I got a little too loco with the old cocoa. S Next order of business is to get this safe reinstalled. Really happy with how this turned out. We now have access to our pesos. We have access to our passports, all our important documents that we need. So really excited. Let's go to the next task. Bye. <music> Okay guys, we're back at our beachfront property here in Baja, Mexico. I've been bleeding pesos today, um, but really I've only spent maybe 15, $20, including getting my safe fix. So very, very happy with the results. Now I gotta get this safe back in the van. I gotta get the van a little bit organized. Then I might treat the dogs to a little something special for a pre-Thanksgiving meal. So why don't you join me, vlog? <laughs> Well, 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 vlog, I've found the culprit here. It looks like the battery latch fell off. I must have closed it too hard, which is kind of annoying because you'd think they would plan for that. I don't know how, but two of the batteries fell out. Yeah, two of the batteries fell out. So, Luckily, I guess the safe will still work, but I don't know. I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10 on the old reviews, but here we go. You heard the beep first. We're back up and running. I might have to tape that on there. A little bit of a project here. Allie would be proud. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, what a successful adventure that was. I was able to hold my composure while putting in the safe in back into the van. I didn't have any outbursts. I didn't have any, you know, negative moments. My great grandmother always said in her diary that you should never let your vlog see you at the worst. And so, um, you know, when I was putting that in there, I held composure, which was really good. Now we just need to grab the dogs a little pre Thanksgiving feast because I promised them that and they've been really good puppies today. And then I think we're going to finish out the day. And I think I know just the place for us to do that. Why don't you guys come along vlog. <laughs> Okay gang, I think what I'm gonna have to do here is go get the doggies some fish tacos. And I'm gonna go to a little local spot here. I'm gonna do an in and out job. Get the doggies their fish tacos. And when I get back to the van, I think they're gonna be pretty happy. <laughs> okay gang, my hair's wild because I was in the salt water. Have not showered in multiple days to be honest with you. But I just got the doggies 
their little treat for the evening, their little pre-Thanksgiving feast. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go take you guys along while I show you how much they love a little bit of fish taco. Let's go see what we got. <laughs> you ready to eat for doggies? No, Piggy, I got good food for Piggy. Piggy goes right for um, the bowl of food because she wants to own it, but little does she know what's about to happen. Some fish tacos. There's one for each of us. Uno, dos, tres. You guys are gonna love seeing how the doggies get down on some food. We'll open up our oven, get ourselves our plates, and let's get these doggies fed. Okay, that one's for me. That one's for Piggy. And that one's for Brother Hawk. Okay, are you doggies ready for a little Thanksgiving feast? Brother Hawk. Here, Piggy. Oh, good doggies. Wow, that did not take long. Those doggies devoured it. Plates are wiped clean. I'm really proud of those two doggies. I'm gonna have my fish taco and then I'm gonna get to work. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Leave us a comment below. Let me know, what do you think of solo male van life? Have I been doing okay? Um, are you ready for Allie to be back? I know I am. We really appreciate our Patreons. We really appreciate everyone's support. We've even got a few Venmos. Thank you guys so much. One of the best ways to support us is just liking, subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment below on this video. I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully by then, Allie will have returned. Adios.